Hello everyone, welcome back to Auden Chronicles 100 Heroes. So last episode we defeated a boss, uh, like an angry turtle, whatever, a snapping turtle, whatever. Anyway, I think we should be keeping going here. So. It was a simple boss. I love it though. Hmm. Oh yeah, and I also got this from the boss, Rune of Currents. So yay! Damn it! Let's do this. Whoa, new enemy, S Nakari. Oh shit! I forgot to heal up. Oh well. Okay. So long. <laughs> we cleaned right up. Sea ghosts. I just keep getting better. Sweet. All right. Since we have a lot of these, I might as well use them. Ooh, earning badge. Is that the equivalent of double your money or something? I mean, it's earning, so. <laughs> I am assuming it is. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Lucky money badge. Moderately boosts Bakua drop rate. Really? <laughs> Interesting. Who can I equip it there? Ah, oh, it's only. It's fine, whatever. Kuroto, you're gonna be my money guy from now on. <laughs> Remember carry? Perfection. I think that's a new enemy as well. Salt slug. This one's got bites. Oh my god. Nice. Fuck! This one's got bites. Take this. I only got stuns. So. That doesn't even count as exercise. It does. I need money. I need a lot of money. So, if this will help me make money, so be it. Rune of Water Enchantment. Okay. Alright, whatever. Let's go in. Are we gonna caught them... ...tampering with the army? <laughs> Quiet, everybody. Look there. Yes, exactly. The former king's idiot son is utterly incapable of making up his mind. But I assure you, I will make him consent to this. Considering the debt his family owes me, he is in no position to refuse. Hmm. Very well. Just keep a level head, Lord Counselor. You still have time. Focus on making steady progress. I shall. Uh, and, if I may, has word of my efforts reached Duke Zaldrick? Oh, yes. And he rewards his capable allies most handsomely. That I promise you. <laughs> 
Music to my ears. I knew it. And yet you demanded a contract written in the Dukes's own hand. Not the most trusting of men, are you? Hmm. Is something the matter? <laughs> Nothing of import. The Dukes is pleased with your work thus far. Just see that you make steady progress. I will not fail you. Farewell for now, Lord Counselor. The conniving vixen. Who does she think she is? <laughs> Still, if I play my cards right, my dream of sitting the Eucrisian throne may yet come true. Why don't we just blast him? Oh my god. It's her! I knew it! The woman in the mask? Who is she? We saw her at the Rune Barrows working with an Imperial spy. Interesting. But not as interesting as the story we just heard. In all his distrustfulness, Harlan has finally done something to serve his country. Yep. Let's go find that contract she talked about. Hmm. Saw her in Rune Barrows. Marissa calls her Mask. Mask? I never heard of them. No shit. Harlan's underwear? What the fuck? What do I want with the underwear? An unfortunate find. <laughs> I. Uh. Okay. Oh, is that it? Here's legitimate. So we just take this and hustle our bones out of here? Yeah. That scholar guy would know what to do with it. There can be no mistake. This is a contract drafted by Duke Aldrich. It's written in the same hand as his letter to King Yuma. Then we have proof of Harlan's betrayal. Of course. We do indeed. So now, you, Chris, is gonna fight the Empire, right? Right, guys? Uh, will it, though? I think we may require one more push to help our king find his resolve. What kind of push are we talking here? If I may, Commander Noah, I have a little job for you. Uh, this Harlan guy reminds me of, uh, Salem Barrows. <laughs> that noble guy from Sugden 5. Annoying little Very bitch. Well. I shall head to the palace straight away and sow the necessary seeds. Or as Silates would call him, uh, useless fops. <laughs> oh my god. I love Silates. I'm not sure what to make of this plan. Melridge clearly has something in mind. Are you feeling confident about those acting chops, Noah? Uh, m maybe? <laughs> oh god, acting? You can do it! Unfounded confidence is an actor's greatest weapon! The commander of the Alliance can do anything if he puts his mind to it, yes? I don't know. Ryu never had any problems with... I don't know, people? <laughs> uh, sure. I guess. I mean, sure, he got betrayed Here by his best friend, so. But that was just one time. <sighs> oh, yeah, since I'm level 33, where's the end? The end is right over there. Can I, I want to recruit that guy. Apparently, I just need to be level 32, but since I'm already level 33, I can beat him, I guess. Alright, so let me go and save first before I don't want to, like, mess up my fucking day. Apparently, I've been playing this game for 7 hours. <laughs> Not straight, because I got a lot. I got to play Trails in the Sky, second chapter as well. Yo, old man. Interesting has happened all day. So, why not? 
That glimmer in your eyes tells me I may actually be in for a fight. So what do you say? Will you test your strength against a tired old man? So is this like a one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> you youngins are always spoiling for a fight. You've got spirit, lad. Now, let's see what else you're made of. Let's do this. Oh. This is not what the one-on-one -on -one fight I had in mind, but okay. You, you wasted my three quality herb <laughs> and no experience. <laughs> Taken down by a plucky upstart. Even at my age, it seems life has plenty of lessons left to teach. Well, that settles that. I'll be joining you, lad. Might even be fun. Let's join forces. Call me Ryu Fan. I join you at. Okay. Elder Spear Wilder. He's strong. I might be using him. And he has a rune too. So. so I guess it'll be useful. Do I need to heal up? Yeah, I do. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go to the castle and tell that Harlan piece of shit that we have a good news for you. <laughs> ah. So I guess after this we get the king and the command, the general. Well then, your majesty. Have you made your decision? All of you, Chris, awaits your word, for your actions this day could herald a bright new era for our kingdom. In fact, I understand that Duke Aldrich's research into new uses for rune lenses is making great strides. I'm endlessly impressed at your ability to vomit out nonsense you don't believe in. Oh, you're a politician born and bred. God, I love you, Periel. Or perhaps merely a swindler. How many times must I remind you that you are here as an observer, Countess? Your Majesty, in light of the Countess's continuous interruptions, I suggest you have her removed. Your father would not have tolerated such impudence from a guest. Of that, I am certain. But... If anyone is removed here, it will be you, Lord Harlan. What? How dare you? You're up, Noah. Go get him. Lord Harlan is a traitor who has conspired to sell out Eucharist to Dukes Aldrich for his own personal gain. Traitor? Personal gain? What? Who do you think you are? The fact you cobbled together some pathetic army out of defeated troops gives you no right to speak to me so unless you come bearing proof of this outrageous claim i suggest you take your seat uh -huh. my proof is this contract sent by duke saldrick to lord harlan it says and i quote 
Should Lord Harlan secure Eucris's surrender, he shall retain his wealth and status, and be given high standing after the dissolution of the Sheerith dynasty. It's all right here on the page. This, um, well, the handwriting does seem to match the letter I received from the Dukes. You damnable varlet! Where did you get that? Oh! Ah, oh, no, no! You, you see, here. Uh... Yep, Salem. It seems you are familiar with this document, Lord Harlan. No, of course not. You useless fop. <laughs> you betrayed me, Lord Harlan. Betrayed your king. Execute. And your kingdom. Put his head on a spike. Send it as a message to that motherfucker Dukes. Everything I have done was for the benefit of you, Chris. You must believe me. I... I... Cassius! Guards! Prepare the special chamber for Lord Harlan. I have a great many questions to ask him. <clears throat> you have it all wrong! I am no traitor! In fact, had your father still reigned, this need never have happened! <clears throat> but instead, we have you, Yuma! You! And you, Chris, cannot persevere with an heir so foolish and feckless. You are driving our kingdom to ruin. What choice did I have but to ally with the Empire? Get him out of here, now! Do you understand now, Yuma? I, I mean... Your Majesty? I don't know, I kind of wish he dogged around the letter here. <laughs> now that you've seen the contract, are Dukes Aldrich's motives not exceedingly clear? The man has no intention of allowing the Sheerith dynasty to continue. <sighs> Such treachery. If the Dukes was willing to do away with the royal family, what would he have done to us? <laughs> I don't know, strip you naked and kill you? <laughs> I choose to do all in my power to help Commander Noah of the Alliance. He's a man I can count oh, on. Oh wait, since this is like a... Advisors, I'm guessing they use the uh, the, real, the old ways of advisor, which is the eunuchs, right? <laughs> yeah, you're all a bunch of eunuchs. <laughs> I will fight at his side. Well, what do you say, Yuma? Oh. Apologies, Periel. Apologies, Lord Counselors. I just... I need a little more time. There might yet be truth to what Harlan said. What, that you're a weak, spineless king? Yes. Oh, well, so much for that. I knew you must struggled with decisions, but I had no idea he was this bad. Oh, I mean, when you've been... A prince cuddled for a, such a long time by your parents and your entire kingdom. Yeah, that's what happened. I mean, look at what happened to Luca. Luca wasn't cuddled. Luca, well, I mean, he could have been cuddled by his mom, but things happen with his life. <laughs> that's all I can say. Still, we've done all we can for now. Lord Harlan is in custody, so I will spend the night here. The rest of you may make yourselves comfortable. Just stay out of the back chamber. Oh, come on. I bet there's rows of beds in there. You can spare one. Fine. But just the one. What bed? <sighs> Man, the area looks amazing. Galdia, Nora Stark, Canaan, 
How many more can peace between us truly last? And what will become of Hishan? Reign of Castamir will happen to this family. <laughs> to this kingdom, I guess. No, they don't. Castamir wasn't even in a kingdom. They were. Uh. Westeros family. Noble family, I guess. Are you all by yourself? I am. They changed the guards around this time, which gives me an opportunity to slip away. It's been my chance to go on little adventures ever since I was a child. Uh, not that I've ever left the palace grounds or anything. <laughs> that would be much too scary. In fact, this right here is about the extent of my adventuring zeal. I spoke to Melrich and learned of how you and Periel snuck into Harlan's manor to secure the contract. Periel really trusts you, doesn't she? No, more than that. She relies on you. How I envy that. You want her? No. Don't. Don't. You don't want to. <laughs> Trust me. She's gonna treat you like a bitch. <laughs> Doesn't she rely on you too? Doesn't she rely on you too? I mean, you're the first person she turned to when Galdia attacked. And she's still appealing to you now. She must really trust you. I would be delighted if that were the case. But is it really me she was counting on? No, your or army. Did she merely turn to me because I happen to be the person on the throne. I adore Periel. The way she's always spoken her mind, even when we were children. Despite growing up in circumstances not unlike mine, she's never afraid to be herself and do what she wants. She's ever pushing forward. Well, I'm from a small village, so I can't imagine what you've been through, but you look like a fighter to me. <laughs> really? Is that not the case? Oh, heavens no. I'm worthless. Everyone thinks so, and they're quite right. Oh, I made a few clumsy attempts when I first inherited the throne. But I was never able to rule skillfully as my father did. And now... At the time of my country's greatest crisis, I still can't make up my mind. Instead of deciding, I fixate on all the tragedy my decisions might cause and simply freeze. Harlan had the right of it. I'm a feckless fool of a king. Who would ever follow a ruler like me? I just... That isn't true! That just isn't true. You aren't a bad king at all, your majesty. What? You are absolutely and completely wrong about yourself, and you mistake your kindness for weakness. I know how hard you work at being king. I know better than anyone, so please don't speak ill of yourself. It's everyone else's loss if they don't understand what a wonderful ruler you are. Thank you, Yulin. As Tyron would say, you're you're not a just you're not a good king, you're not a bad king. You're just you're not very a good king. <laughs> but I will never live up to my father. No wait, what Tywin say when Joffrey died? Words, your majesty. <laughs> People have you wrong. Indeed, you have yourself wrong. Now I grant you may not currently be ruling with the skill and finesse of your father. Yeah, I mean, he reminds me of Tommen, Tommen Lannister. Or Tommen Baratheon, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the, the the king after Joffrey, his little brother. Yeah. He was You're holding yourself up to a coward with years of experience already behind him. Surely you can see how superficial it is to compare that man to a king who has taken but the first steps of his reign. 
A fledgling knight is no match for a hardened veteran. And yet, the youngster possesses something the veteran does not. A future. And I would not have you discard yours so lightly, my king. Ooh, so you're gonna be my uh, tactician of this game? Oh, Melrich. You in? Oh, uh, forgive me, your majesty. Uh, I was dreadfully out of line to speak to you like that. I will accept any punishment you see fit. Then your punishment is to tell me the truth. Do you really believe I can become a good king? <gasps> of course I do. You will be a, a kind king and a great one. I I'm sure of it. No, I don't trust you. Thank don't believe her. <laughs> oh, okay, you'd believe her. <laughs> I will. Or at least I shall try to. Damn right. Don't worry, I'll make you a man. Let's get down to business. I cannot <laughs> express what an honor it is to fight alongside a man of your esteem, General Goldwyn. Oh god, not you. I fucking hate you. Mm -hmm. If I may, General, I hear we'll be entering Eucharist territory soon. When do you anticipate being able to report our victory to Dukes Aldrich? I must contemplate how best to compose the message. It is folly to contrive victories from unfought battles. A warrior must approach every enemy with equal sincerity. But who could Eucharist field who has any hope of victory against you? Cassius. General Cassius yep. is a steady hand who commands the love of his men, and I hear the kingdom is home to another formidable mind as well. And also, yes, I take to the battlefield for our emperor. Despite the great pains Aldrich went through to convince his excellency of this campaign's merit, I do not fight for the dukes. Oh my god, so he's the Kiba of this game. <laughs> Gold win. I like that. Yeah, Kiba fights for his king, not for the prince. Especially not Luca. <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah, they, yeah, so he fights for his uh, emperor, not for the dukes. Nice. I hope he has a son. A tactician son. <laughs> It'll be like Kiba Klaus again. Oh, good morning, all. I take it you spent the night here? Guys, you are not gonna believe this, Periel! <laughs> Loose lips, darling. Come, Noah. We're leaving. What, she's a s light sleeper, snores? So how will this turn out? I don't know. It would be nice if Yuma shows some resolve. It'll probably be fine. Oh, you're confident Did something happened? Yes, we had a conversation last night. I like this so far, like the whole gathering the army. It's, yeah, it's definitely sweeter than gathering allies. Announcing His Majesty, King Yuma. Do we also get Yulin? Have you reached a decision, sir? If you require a messenger to go to Duke's Aldrich, I am yours to command. This is it. What's it going to be? I come bearing urgent news. Your Majesty, it seems an Imperial Expeditionary Force has been sighted. It is under the command of General Goldwyn, and outnumbers our army two to one. Double our numbers? And General Goldwyn? The man is said to be invincible. Uh. Your Majesty! I've always been a worthless man, Periel. I am incapable of making decisions and paralyzed with fear of how others might view me. I mean, this technically counts as like a Two River City arc when Makai refuses to ally with us because he was scared <laughs> I have ever been of a Luca. <laughs> I acknowledge this. 
General Cassius? Yes, my king. Melrich? Your majesty. For a period of two weeks, beginning now, I entrust to the two of you the entirety of my royal authority. You are to make every decision, for I have no doubt you are more capable of selecting the right choices than I. Wow. Call it a coward's conviction if it please you. Regardless, it is the best decision I can muster. What folly is this? Has his majesty taken leave of his senses? Royal authority to a mere general and a lecturer at the studium? Say the word, your majesty, and we lords are ready to lead in your stead. The both of you must refuse this. It will plunge the kingdom into chaos. No, I see. You're folly a bunch of... from your fool of a king. Yet all the more reason to do it. Pitiful I may be, but I beg of you to save our kingdom. But... Are you quite certain? After all, what's to stop the general and myself from eliminating you should we come to enjoy this little taste of power? If that is your choice, then so be it. Were you to do such a thing, I believe it would be for the sake of the kingdom. Your Majesty. Long have I sworn my service and loyalty to House Sheerith, Your Majesty. But now, I pledge it anew to you, Yuma Sheerith, the man before whom I now take the knee. I shall answer the trust you have placed in me with all of my heart and ability. I do not know if my talents are worthy of the faith you place in them, Your Majesty. In fact, it speaks to their inadequacy that I have so clearly misjudged you. <laughs> and for that, I must atone. Whatever shreds of wit and talent I still possess, I swear to you. As if any of this gives us a chance against the Empire! Your Majesty, it's not too late. We can still draft a letter of intent to Jukes Eldrick and... General Cassius. Any hope of successfully defending this kingdom will require the full efforts of her people and the full unity of her spirit. The army will be mustered and the realm's efforts devoted entirely to its defense. Any who choose to publicly object to his majesty's wishes will be executed on the spot. <laughs> we did it! Now we can finally fight back! I'm not certain such jubilant optimism is appropriate. As General Cassius noted, it will require all the strength you, Chris, can muster to have even a chance of victory. Then we'll prepare for a tough fight. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> nah. I will. We'll be right beside you. We'll I mean, right the, beside you. the other two choices are the same. It's Agreed. Just... This is everything we've been striving for. Then allow me to formally request the support of the Alliance. You shall have it and more. We'll return to the inn and have Janequis beat the muster drums. Call up the banners. <laughs> no. Right, we'll win this time. I mean, technically we won last time. That motherfucker, Cha Chappelle. <laughs> Can't do shit. And Sane was with them too. If it wasn't for Dukes and his numbers, we would've won it. But yeah. Hmm. So it's gonna be another army battle, huh? I shall contact Emir and have him commence preparations straight away, milady. Send me. I'll get your message there safe. Shall I set this in motion, Commander? Maybe hold on a second. Maybe hold on a second. Understood. I shall. 
Yeah, I need to save first. Are you crazy? Alright, let's go. Are you ready for the next step, Commander? Mm, maybe. Let me check out my castle first. Maybe understood. I kind of want to check it out just in case. Uh, Lionheart. I'm a teleportation perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Is this the right? Yes. <laughs> Man, I love this fast travel shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Duke. Okay. We don't have any more pelt, huh? I don't want to. I can't want to have this though. Because I heard that there's a cooking contest in this game, so yay! That's gonna be my thing. A kitchen fit for a king. You're welcome. <laughs> a trading entertainment house. Damn, 300, huh? Oh, what a charming space we've made. I guess this, this is where the Beyblades and all that people come in. Oh, this is the, uh, oh! Opens the rune shop. Oh, you're a rune shop guy? What the fuck? Hmm. So any of the shop only gets you 10 people, but if it's like an entertainment, <laughs> you get 300 people. That is crazy. <laughs> Appraiser. Tool shop, lumber. Hmm, built a smitty, drill ground. Okay, this is to obtain... Okay. I need this. Superb, no? What is the library gonna do anyway? <laughs> I mean, other than give give us a book or anything like that. <laughs> Hmm. 
I heard the the this treasury thing actually increases every night or something like that every 20 minutes and if you just leave the game alone like just put the ps5 on sleep mode you can actually get more but that will increase my hours though i don't want that <laughs> records of past actions Yeah, why not? Are you happy, old man? 300 people, though. Oh my god, look at him! It's like Eckbert. I must thank you. Oh! I'll go ahead and line my pockets. I hate this guy. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. No, oh, Gar, you're so cute. So, where is the trade plaza? <laughs> you need a card. Uh, so if we talk to them, do we get anything at all? Howdy. The crops I grew have kept everyone fed and happy. What more could I ask? So Wait, what? Howdy. Mind lending me a hand? My veggies are oh, okay. So how long does it usually take? <laughs> I'm very, very desperate here. Hey. After a fine day of work, we humans have to work after all. Swing by. You're human? <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? Salutations. So many cuties to choose from. Where do I start? Now, when you say cuties... <laughs> Alright. I guess we'll go back to... Hishan, was it? Yeah. I'm a teleportation professional. Shut up. Hmm. Perfect. As usual. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna end a part here because I feel like it's gonna be long enough to do a duel and all uh, to do a second army battle, whatever. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys very very soon. Stay tuned and stay safe. Later.